What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, Roddy Rich, man. There's so many offspring of Future and Young Thug, but very few stand out to this degree and have this level of potential in their career. This, this dude is different. And not only are people sleeping on him still or he's going over people's head, he's being set up low key to reach a certain level that a lot of people probably don't even see him reaching. And we'll go over that. Those two things, that and him being different in this video. All right, so it's hard to talk about what makes Roddy Rich so different without first addressing his approach to music. And Die Young, his biggest hit to date, is the perfect example of that. Now, he wrote Die Young after finding out about the passing of Triple X. In this quote, he said, I watch TV when I record in the studio and I saw the report. I muted it and spilled out how I felt about it in the moment. Right. The fact that he actually did this and spilled out his feelings was just a sign that he sees music as therapeutic, which he said himself. You know, Da Young came out like, was it like any like doubt like, damn, this rap shit may be, it may not be it or? I mean, you know, we, we do music for just the, you feel me, just, I do music like, like therapy. It's like therapy. So that shit ain't really like something I bank off, you know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to make money or we trying to do that shit. That really ain't my motive, you feel me? If I want money, we gon', you know what I'm saying? We gon' go get money. Yeah. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit just, it just therapy. So, so that shit wasn't really, it, was, it wasn't really like something I'm like trying to make a hit. It just, nigga, we just making music. And this is actually a pretty refreshing thing to hear from an upcoming rapper because to him, music is more than a hustle. He would be doing it regardless if he was getting money for it or not. But that brings me to another thing that really speaks on why he stands out so much. In an era where there's so many people who happen to sound like offspring of, you know, young thug and future, how does he manage to actually stand out? And a perfect, perfect way to really just make it clear is a song that he did with Meek Mill, Young Thug and Future. But all my dogs that's in a rhyme, yeah, yeah. We had the fiends jumping at the spot, yeah, yeah. I was whipping a dope up. It all goes back to his voice. Roddy's part of this song is only 17 seconds long, but still, he manages to not only hold his own among these well established rappers, but he stands out. The one thing that can't be avoided, objectively speaking, is his voice, right? What his voice sounds like. It doesn't sound like future it doesn't sound like young thug yeah there's small little things here or there that you can hear but he has a voice that stands out from anybody when he talks about it being therapeutic to make music you can hear that pain and i think so many people get attracted to that i know that's one of the things that is attracted to me to his music on certain songs and people really underestimate the importance of voice for an artist as a matter of fact some of the stronger unique voices actually get more attention and allow artists to be bigger just because they're more noticeable. It's almost like marketing. If your voice can be imitated or people find it annoying, it's probably causing a lot more attention and getting some sort of emotional reaction than somebody who just has a regular run-of-the-mill voice. They're a dope rapper, they're a dope artist, but their voice doesn't really add or do much more for their music. And all these things are coming together in a way that I believe will allow him to be a lot bigger than most people realize. There's two points to this. His versatility from track to track is ridiculous. He's been on so many types of music. We're talking about not only his type of music, right? His general music, but working with DJ Mustard. He did a song with PNB Rock. He did a song with a few UK artists, Chip and Young Bane, and he did a song with Marshmello. And the one thing that stands out is the fact that he always sounds like Roddy Rich, no matter what. And that's extremely important because when so many people think about versatility, they think that it means you sound completely different. You're doing something completely different. But his versatility is being able to be him on different backdrops, different sounds, different types of music and different environments. He's always comfortable being him. And that's the most important thing an artist can have their own voice and their own point of view. If they're consistent with those two things, which Roddy Rich is, it allows them to go collaborate and reach audiences farther than most artists can without losing their core audience. 
Because that means he could be on songs and productions that don't reflect what his fans typically listen to, but he'll still sound like Roddy. So it doesn't seem like he's selling out or he's changing up on anybody in a negative way. So he's reaching these new people, but the people who hear him on this new music, they still hear him. And then the second part of that is not only does he have the actual capability to be on diverse things and really move worldwide musically, but he's actually signed a publishing deal with Cobalt that will allow him to be able to get that reach and additional opportunities. As a matter of fact, when the signing was announced, Cobalt executive Sam Taylor said Roddy's versatility as an artist is one of a kind and allows him to successfully jump into any genre. They understand and see exactly what I'm saying and the opportunity that they'll give him. And it might not seem really meaningful that he signed this international publishing deal, specifically international, because I know some people might be thinking, hey, once it's on the internet, it could be listened to anybody around the world. But no, signing something specifically international with these companies is meaningful because of the opportunities that they create and the things that they do behind the scenes because of it. I'm not going to go too deep into that here, but just note that this is part of why his potential to reach is going to be far larger than a lot of people realize. There's a lot of artists in the U.S. that have more hype and visibility around themselves than Roddy Rich, but I would say that is by design because a lot of the moves they've started to make have been international pretty early on if you consider where he is if you consider this deal and even if you think about the fact that he has a video on link up tv with chip and young bang you don't see u.s artists do this pretty much at all let alone this early on i really can't stress how major that move is and last but not least i'm a personal fan of roddy riches and it's great to see these things in place because there's a lot of artists that have the music or they have the talent but they don't have the business in place. But the other thing, right, because there's talent and then there's business, but then it's always the actual artist mentality. And Roddy Rich has shown again and again to me that he's focused and is in the right place to capitalize on his potential. You can see that in his quotes when he says stuff like, when I drop, I just drop. I don't play no one else's game and I don't run no one else's race because if I did, I wouldn't be who I am. I just stay in my own lane and not worry about what anyone else is doing and setting my own pace. Fans are going to fuck with me anyway. Now, anybody who's followed me long enough knows that I say run your race again and again and again. And then when you consider the fact that a lot of pressures he won't even see or, or sense because he doesn't get on social media, it'll only make it easier to just run his own race as opposed to getting distracted by all these voices online. But those are my thoughts on Roddy Rich. I would love to know what you guys think. He's somebody that I'm very much so watching. I'm excited to see what he does in his career because, man, I listen to so much of his music and it's just like, yo, this dude does not miss. But for now, as always, this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. If you like this video, go ahead and the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.